morning. It is July 10th. We're headed to Old Station today, so I have about a little less than eight miles to go. Um, just got out of camp. There's one other person cowboy camping near me, so I wanted to get a little farther away before I started chatting. Um, but yeah, walking towards this way. And it's a good morning. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to go today. I was looking. The only good campsite is about 20 miles out from here. Um, and I do want to do 20s. But I'm being really, really, really realistic because of yesterday. And, you know, I'm going to go into town for town food. And then I'm going to hike a little bit and then go back into town to the gas station because they're not anywhere near each other um, to get a few snacks. And then I... I'm gonna go to the lava cave or lava tube that's a little bit farther away. So it's just like a lot of side trips today. So tomorrow I plan on having a, a much bigger day. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna hike and see where I land. Also, today is pretty easy. It's basically downhill and flat to town. And I think it stays somewhat flat for until the lava tube. But um, it's also one of the last days that we're going to see this mountain, Mount Lassen. And hopefully, hopefully we'll also get out of this burn scar. I've heard people say that um, it'll end near Old Station. So that makes me excited. Ooh, oh my gosh, I just looked over and uh, look at this. This fungus grows. Isn't that neat? I'm gonna have to take pictures of it. Sorry about that. I guess I get distracted easily by nature. <laughs> um, uh, as I was saying, so hopefully we'll get out of this bird scar back in some live trees. Um, where you can see a little bit more wildlife and have it smell nice and not have the ground be so ashy. So one thing I forgot to mention is because of the fires, a lot of the ground is has ash layer on it. And so when you walk, <laughs> sometimes it kicks up quite a bit of dust and it gets kind of annoying. And my hands are all dusty, my clothes are all dusty. Like everything's just really dusty. Um, so it would be really great to get back into uh, live forest again. And uh, have, you know, pine needles <laughs> be my biggest worry. So, but yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else to say. And then we are going to zoom. I don't know how much I'm going to film because I'm going to be trying to zoom. And I'm going to get hiking. So I had a burger, a cheeseburger, chips, and then I went for a second meal <laughs> and had a grilled cheese sandwich at the RV park. But now I'm heading back towards the trail. Um, I also mailed some stuff home because I didn't need it anymore or I wasn't using it in the first place. Um, so I was able to lighten my pack by a couple of pounds. Probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now what I'm doing is I'm going back on trail. And then I'm going to hike another like three point something miles to the other way to get into the old station area because that one has a gas station. Um, the RV Park store has a few things, but it's not really a great place to resupply. So, and I need more jerky. <laughs> I need more salty snacks. I have a lot of sweet snacks. I have a lot of candy. 
Um, and I'm getting sick of that. And so I need more jerky because I'm out of that. And I want to pick up some pretzels or something. So that's the next plan. And then after that, uh, the lava tube is really close by. It's like 0.6 away or like not even a mile away from there. So go check that out. But um, my original, I knew this was going to happen because once I got to internet, good internet, I was going to try to catch up on Instagram. But my original 20 mile day <laughs> isn't really going to happen anymore. So um, there isn't really any good camping. I can tell between the lava tubes and the tent site in 20 miles or um, 11 miles from here. But I'll have to figure something out. <laughs> and I'm not the only one. A cookie tin is also like, there's no way. She's like, there's no way I'm hiking another 11 miles. <laughs> um, so I'm sure there's going to be quite a few of us dispersed um, throughout that area. Either by the roads or whatever. But I'm going to get hiking. Almost back to the trail. It's like over by this fence thing. We'll soon pass them. Look at these peach flowers. Or 1.6 from the road to go to the gas station. So, so really near the road or area to go in that lava tube so once I pick up a few things that's where I'm heading to next and just hiking along it's a little hot out not so much temperature wise but it's definitely more humid <laughs> up here that's for sure I mean I expected that and I kind of was looking forward to that because then that might mean that it won't be as cold at night um, compared to the desert. So I'm being very, 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 very careful. But there's this giant sinkhole and so lava tube that's open just straight off the trail. Hold on, let me. Yeah, I can't show much of it, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Almost to the road to the gas station, point two away, and then I think it's another point two to the gas station. And I'm excited because I'm gonna get a soda. I'll probably pack one out, and then I gotta look at the water situation. I think I might have to dry camp tonight. Um, and then I'll be about thirty-four miles at least from the gas station slash lava tubes where you can go inside them i'll be about 34 miles away from bernie and so i'll probably d there's a few options because i don't know how far i'm going to get today i need to try to do it all in one big day which is probably not ideal <laughs> or do a 20 tomorrow and then get in at um Sorry, distracted by flowers here. Um, and then do like the last seven or so into town tomorrow. I mean the day after that. But we'll see because then my average wouldn't really be 20 a day for this section. It would be closer to 15. And... I also don't know if I want to pop in or out. Anyways, I got a lot of thinking to do, a lot of planning to do. Looks like I'm at the entrance of the lava tube. Okay, so I've started the tunnel. It's really dark. The floor is also rocky. So yeah, it's pretty pitch black. I do have my headlamp on, but I need new batteries. 
And my backup batteries that were new, they must got too cold and like they're completely dead. So that's annoying. All right, almost to the other end. Here's part of where the ceiling collapsed a little bit a long time ago.